Hello everyone and welcome to Onik News. In today's topic we talk about the top 5 hot news of May 2024. This channel provides you with the latest K-pop and Korean related news every day, so make sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest news and trends. Today's video is sponsored by the new wave DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Grab their free shirts giveaway by following them on Instagram at Din Hasty Clothing and comment which shirt you like from their website www.dinhastyclothing.com. So let's get it started. Girls' Generation's Tiffany shared her thoughts about the K-pop industry and the idols these days. Tiffany appeared as a special guest on the May 19th episode of Radio Star and talked about her experiences promoting with the Girls' Generation members for their 15th anniversary. She shared, I went to a music program broadcast for the first time in a while. I went for the 15th anniversary project for Girls' Generation. We would dance diligently and work hard even though the camera was far away because we wanted to stand out even if we were dancing in the back of the stage. Tiffany went on to explain, but these days, there's something called individual fan cam recording, so maybe that's why idols are so lax. Lazy. So when I saw it, I thought, these kids are rehearsing so lazily, and, why are they doing it so half-heartedly? Tiffany continued, so I thought they were just doing sound check, but then when you do sound checks, you need to make sure the breathing and positions are all correct. Then she went to share her thoughts on how an idol should be on stage and explained, there were a lot of new things I experienced and thought, idols, were more lax. But you know? There's a saying, first time, last time, every time, and shared that she believes that an artist should give their best in all moments, even if it's a rehearsal. As HYBE intensifies efforts to dismiss Min Hee Jin, the current CEO of Adore, several of its top executives, including Chief Strategy Officer, CSO, Lee Jae Sang, are strong candidates to join the new Adore Board of Directors. According to the investment banking sector on May 22, Lee Jae Sang, CSO, Kim Joo Young, Chief Human Resources Officer, Crow, and Lee Kyung Jun, Chief Financial Officer, CFO, are likely nominees for the new Adore Board at the upcoming shareholders meeting on the 31st. The main agenda for the Adore Extraordinary Shareholders Meeting includes the dismissal of the current three board members, including Min Hee Jin, and the appointment of three new members. Hybe has been carefully reviewing potential candidates for some time. Lee J. Sang is the leading candidate for the CEO position among the HYBE executives considered for the new Adore board. Previously, Hyde proposed Lee as a director candidate during its attempt to acquire SM Entertainment. At that time, Lee, then CEO of Hive America, was expected to take over as SM's new CEO if the acquisition succeeded. He emphasized that revising SM's existing strategies based on Hybe's successful business model was crucial for future success. Kim Joo Young, the Crow, is a personnel expert who was the first female head of HR at Yuhan Kimberly and later served as the head of HR at Crafton before joining Hive. Lee Kyung Jun, the CFO, has extensive accounting experience from Samil PwC, PwC Sydney, and Kim and Chong, and is recognized as a key figure behind Hybe's successful listing on the Kospi. He also serves as an internal director at Hybe's subsidiary, Source Music. These three Hybe executives have been rumored as candidates for the Adore board since the onset of this situation. Other candidates for the new Adore board include Hybe's chief legal officer, CLO, Jung Jin Su, and head of business planning, Lee Jin Hwa. They were also proposed as new board members during Hybe's attempt to acquire SM. If the court grants Min Hee Jin's injunction to prohibit Hybe from exercising its voting rights, only two of the current three Adore board members will be dismissed and replaced. This would still allow Hybe to gain majority control and potentially vote to dismiss Min Hee Jin as CEO. However, this could lead to Min Hee Jin filing a lawsuit against Hybe for breaching the shareholder agreement. Hive plans to restructure Adore into a dual leadership system with separate roles for production and management, similar to other Hive labels. 
Currently, Min Hee Jin holds both roles at Adore. A senior HYBE official commented, We have no official plans to announce regarding the appointment of the new Adore board at the shareholders meeting on the 31st, but added we have no official plans to announce regarding the appointment of the new Adore board at the shareholders meeting on the 31st. Thus, HYBE may appoint a new head of production after replacing the Adore board. Changes in Adore's structure are expected depending on the court's decision. Many team leaders at Adore have submitted petitions supporting Min Hee Jin, as have the parents of New Jeans members. If Min Hee Jin and the current Adore board are replaced by HYBE appointees, many Adore employees might resign. However, HYBE stated only three or four individuals responsible for the management dispute will leave. The rest have no reason to resign. Regardless of Hybe's position, if a significant number of Adore employees resign, new genes might temporarily be managed by other Hybe labels like Pletus or Belift Lab. Last month, Hybe CEO Park Ji Won assured the mothers of three new genes members that despite Min Hee Jin not sharing the plans for the Tokyo Dome concerts, Hybe has many professionals who can handle it well. Korean netizens responded and commented, the staff members who worked with Min Hee Jin will resign, there's no way Bang Si Hyuk would support New Jeans more than all it. At this rate, New Jeans are done for if they can't escape Hive. New Jeans related work might be allocated to Pletus or Belift Lab under Hive. This is the worst. Byung Woo Sok fans are criticizing Hieri for allegedly hitting on him. In a viral post, Fans of the actor are criticizing the Girls' Day member for allegedly hitting on him. The fans cited a past interview video of Byun Woo Sok and Hieri for their 2021 drama, Moonshine, stating Hieri was too comfortable with skinship with the rising actor. Some also criticized her for allegedly behaving too comfortably with Byun Woo Sok when she was dating Ryu Joon Yul at the time. They commented, Byun Woo Sok is said to be appearing on her YouTube channel. Shouldn't we stop him? I'm being serious. He can go on any show, but not where that fox is. I couldn't continue watching this K-drama because of Hieri's shockingly bad acting. This is when Hieri had a boyfriend, so why is she all over him? She's crossing a line. Byun Woo Sok seems to be keeping distance, but he's too nice to say anything. Byun Woo Sok is said to be appearing on her YouTube channel. Shouldn't we stop him? I'm being serious. He can go on any show, but not where that fox is. Wasn't she dating Ryu Jun Yal when this was filmed? I'm sure she's not his type. It feels like he's drawing a line and being careful around her, she's all over him, touching him, and leaning on him. It's too much, she seems to like Byun Woo Sok a lot. She must be crazy, so gross, and more. Management agency A Cement, home to actor Park Seo Joon, has issued a curt response in light of the actor's latest dating rumors. Previously on May 23, KST, one overseas media outlet reported that Park Seo Joon was allegedly dating Chinese-American actress Lauren Tsai. In response to the rumors, a representative of Awesome Ent told K Media Outlets on May 24, KST please understand that we cannot confirm private matters outside of the actor's official schedules. Awesome Ent issued a similar statement sometime in June of last year, when Park Seo Joon became wrapped up in dating rumors with YouTuber Coz. Meanwhile, Park Seo Joon intends on greeting viewers this year in the Netflix original series, Jong Sung Creature 2 Feet and the TVN Variety, Ginny's Kitchen, Season 2. What did you lately watch from Park Seo Joon? It has been reported that another one of actress Han So Hee's advertising contracts has been terminated. According to Exports News on May 23, the used car platform Hey Dealer, for which Han So Hee was an advertising model, has selected Suzy and Lee Jung Un as new models. The report states that Suzy and Lee Jung Un have already completed the ad shoot. Han So Hee has been active as an advertising model for Hey Dealer since last year. In March, a vlog style advertisement featuring her was released and received positive reviews. However, in the same month, 
Han So Hee publicly acknowledged her relationship with actor Ryu Jun Yul and had a public spat with singer and actress Hieri, leading to the deactivation of the comment feature on Hey Dealer's advertisements. Following this, Han So Hee acquired a negative image through the course of her relationship and breakup, resulting in failed contract renewals with several companies she was modeling for, including Chum Churam and NH Nong Hyuk Bank. Ultimately, it seems Hey Dealer decided to replace Han So Hee with other celebrities as their models. Meanwhile, on May 19, Han So Hee attended the 77th Cannes International Film Festival in France as a Boucheron ambassador, showcasing her stunning beauty. What do you think about it? Please let us know in the comments. This video was sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Don't forget to grab your free shirt by following them on Instagram at Din Hasty Clothing and comment which shirt you like from their website www.dinhastyclothing.com. Subscribe to our channel and get the latest K-pop and Korean related news every day. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.